Approximately 11,200 Americans turn 65 each day, with most stepping into a new life of retirement. It's a time to be free of financial stress, but that means planning ahead. The 11th annual American Century Investment Survey found most adults want to continue the lifestyle they have now, but nearly all are at least a little worried about financial retire or financing retirement. Joining us with more is VP of Retirement Thought Leadership and Research at American Century Investments, Glenn Dial. Glenn, thank you so very much for joining us today. So tell us about the latest retirement savings survey and how adults are feeling about their current levels of savings. Well, yes, thank you, and thank you for having me. Uh, most adults grade themselves about a uh, B to C minus about savings, and here's what I mean by that. So the one thing they had have in common is they all wish they could go back and tell their younger selves when they were 20s and, and even 30s to save more, right? When they start getting around age 50, they find out they haven't saved enough money. So now they're a little bit in panic mode and, and, and are trying to catch up if you will so so that's probably the biggest takeaway and and of course secondary is they're worried about will i be able to pay my bills when i retire what if the stock market crashes right before i retire what if i live too long these are all some pretty significant risks that they uh, that they're facing that's very that's very very interesting so what retirement savings risks uh, should americans be most concerned about Yeah, so kind of kind of going on that, that theme. So it, it sounds like a good problem, but what if I live too long, right? People want to live a long time, but if I live a long time, I could outlive my savings. So the old days of having the, the guaranteed pension plan like my parents have, right? Most people don't have those anymore. So now they have to worry about that and solve that on their own. And going back to the, the stock market, well, you know, most of our savings are invested in the stock market, usually your employer's 401k plan. So what happens if the stock market goes down like it did in 08, 09, right before I retire or right after I retire? So this idea around a protected retirement income is really starting to, to gain steam because a lot of those protections just aren't in place today uh, for most employees. So talk to me about the benefits of an income replacement plan. Yeah, so it, it's, again, it's kind of going back to the future. When, you, when we looked at most you know, traditional pension plans, they pegged a 75% income replacement rate as something we should all attain. 75% income replacement when you include Social Security. When we talk to most workers that are in their employer you know, retirement plan, whether it's a 401k or whatnot, they don't really have an, a good idea of what that income replacement rate should be. You know, should it be 75%, should it be more, should it be less? When we asked participants, they were all over the board, they really did not know what it should be. So that's concerning uh, if you're approaching retirement and you haven't you know, figured out that goal yet. Well, what should my income replacement rate be? Should it be 75%? Is that, the, is that the right number for me? Or should it be something higher or lower? Well, Glenn, let me ask you, excuse me, let me ask you this real quick. So how can you begin to develop a plan for income replacement? Yeah, first and foremost, uh, there's really two options, I think, for most working Americans. Number one, Go to your employer's website. You probably have some kind of retirement plan at your, at your place of work. They do, most of them do offer tools and services and even financial advice. Or go to a trusted advisor, financial advisor. If you don't have one, ask around, try, try and find one. But again, I would start with my employer's website or call the HR department and let them know that, hey, how, how, do, I, you know, how do I plan for this retirement, if you will? Because Again, most employees have done a pretty good job. Most Americans have done a pretty good job of saving recently. So the savings are actually there. And, they're getting, and as you stated earlier, they're, they're getting ready to retire. And the hardest part of this whole journey is how do I turn my lifetime savings into lifetime income? Glenn Dial, thank you so very much for joining us this morning. It's been a very interesting conversation. And guys, if you want to catch this segment or others like it, head over to FCN+.